On one side, you've got a legend, the undisputed champ of the classroom that has dominated high school math for decades, the TI-84+. Plus. This is the calculator that literally got millions of us through algebra and calculus. It's really an icon. But on the other side, we have the challenger, a retro hacker favorite with a Raspberry Pi for a heart, the PicoCalc. This pocket-sized computer, born from the DIY and open source world, is all about programming and retro fun. I'm Jay Blanks, and today we're putting these two against each other. The old school champion versus the versatile newcomer. Which one is going to come out on top? Let's find out. Well, what's a TI-84? We're looking at the classic TI-84 Plus, actually. And this is the legend with the 96 by 64 monochrome display, and it runs on good old AAA batteries. This is the workhorse you remember, and it's a classroom staple. Today, you can find it for $100 or so, and it's built for one thing, being a graphic calculator that's approved for pretty much every standardized test you can throw at it. And this is the PicoCalc. It's a whole different beast. While it takes the form of a calculator, it's really a tiny computer. It's a kit from Clockwork Pi that you can actually build yourself. It costs around $79 as of today, but you do have to bring your own 18650 battery. It's powered by a Raspberry Pi Pico and has a sharper 320 by 320 screen a full QWERTY keyboard, speakers, and even an SD card slot. This thing is made for tinkering, supporting a wide range of programming environments. All right, for round one, let's talk about math. For basic math, both can add, subtract, multiply, and divide just fine. But things change when you get into more complex tasks like graphing. The TI-84 Plus was born to do this. Its entire interface is built for students and math problems. You have dedicated buttons and options for graphing, tracing lines, zooming, and calculating values. Everything is designed to get you from a problem to a graph as quickly as possible. It's fast, polished, and just works for a school environment. Now let's consider the PicoCalc. The PicoCalc boots into PicoMite MM Basic, which is a powerful version of the basic programming language. There's no graph button here. To plot a function, you have to write a little program. Whether you're using basic, MicroPython, or C, it's a totally different way of thinking. You'd have to write a loop calculate the y value for each x pixel and use a command to draw it on the screen. While the PicoCalc can do math, it doesn't have the decades of refinement that Texas Instruments has poured into the user experience for students. For quickly solving a problem for the class, the TI-84's dedicated, purpose-built setup is in another league. This round is a clear win for the champ. When it comes to out of the box math and graphing for school, the TI-84 holds its ground. And now let's talk about programming. The TI-84 has a long history here. For decades, students have been writing TI basic programs for everything from homework solvers to simple games, all on the calculator itself. It's a great introduction to programming logic. But the TI platform can sometimes be a walled garden. The trend from Texas Instruments has been to lock the system down for security reasons on newer calculators. The PicoCalc is an open source beast. Because it's built on a Raspberry Pi Pico, you can flash other firmware to it in seconds. You can program it with MicroPython, a streamlined version of Python for microcontrollers. You can use the familiar Arduino IDE, opening up to a massive world of existing libraries and examples. And for maximum power and control, you can dive into the official C and C++ SDK. You can connect it to your computer and use professional code editors for any of these. And don't forget the hardware. The PicoCalc has GPIO pins, which means you can connect it to sensors, lights, motors, 
pretty much any electronic component. You could write a program to control a robot or build a custom weather station. It's not a calculator you can program, it's a handheld computer. Now let's talk about retro gaming. The TI-84 Plus is pure nostalgia, but it actually has a massive underground gaming scene. People have made incredible versions of Doom, Mario, Tetris, and emulators, turning your learning tool into a gaming machine. But the PicoCalc is retro at its core. It doesn't just remind you of a past era, it embodies its spirit. The fun here isn't just playing a game someone else made, it's about making your own. You can find hundreds of old type-in programs with classic computer magazines and get them running on the PicoCalc with just a little work. You can make pixel art, compose chiptone music, and design your own text adventures. The fun is in the potential. It's a modern device with a retro soul that invites you to be a creator. And there are already tons of community projects available. Well, let me give you the too long don't read version. The TA84 Plus is still the king of the classroom. It won the math round for a reason. It's a polished, reliable, and powerful tool for learning. If you're a student who needs a calculator for the SATs or ACTs, the TA84 is and will be the right choice. It's the perfect tool for its job. The PicoCalc, which is our winner, is something else entirely. It's not the best calculator, but it's an incredible handheld computer. It's for the programmer, the hobbyist, the tinkerer, and the retro computing fan. It's for anyone who sees a device and asks, what else can I make this do? Its victory shows its amazing versatility and open-ended potential, whether you're coding in MicroPython or C++. So for the student, stick with the champ, the TI-84+. For the hacker, the programmer, and the endlessly curious, the future is in the hands of challengers like the PicoCow. Ultimately, the best device is the one that gets you excited to use it. So, which one would you pick? How do you feel about the PicoCalc? Let me know what you think down in the comments. I love to hear what projects you build or your favorite TI-84 memories. And if you enjoyed this showdown, do me a favor and hit that like button and think about subscribing for more tech deep dives. I'm Jay Blanks. Thanks for watching. Peace.